Just wanted to show you guys my Octomart fairings that I purchased. My bike originally was silver. Mine's the 2008 CBR, so it has the engine cover, or it doesn't have the engine cover, it just has the, uh, you can see the engine. <laughs> I always loved the red and black. I really wanted the red and black. I had to have the red and black theme. And so, Octomarts was a cheap, easy solution to get my red and black. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on to it. Let's look at the Farrens. Now, if I had to say about the fitment, okay, let's let's start with the first part, the most important. Everybody's wondering about it. Hopefully you can see it. There's really no gaps. There's one tiny gap right here, but that's more or less my fault during installation. And it there's no zip ties holding it though, which is the main thing. And even on my OEM fairings, there's a gap about that size, so I'm not even concerned with it at all. What I am kind of upset about a little bit is I did order, I had to get these replaced because the first time I ordered, they arrived damaged from the shipping. And they were supposed to be replaced with red ones, like it's supposed to have like a red thing that comes down like right here like my old ones had, the ones that came damaged, but the replacements that arrived, uh, they didn't come with the right ones. So, I'm in contact with the company right now, and they're gonna work something out with me. I told them I wouldn't mind paying, because I do like the black ones, and I'll have an extra set around, so I don't mind paying if it's like, you know, fifty, sixty dollars or whatever. Anyway, moving on. Uh, one part of fitment that nobody really talks about that I had an issue with is right here on the gas tank. As you can see, the the uh, gasket doesn't go all the way around, or it doesn't fit in really well. It was a real bitch to get this tank on too. So just something to consider when you get these, that the tank takes by far the longest. The nose pieces, they snapped right into place in two seconds. I mean, it was no big deal at all. Uh, we do have a slight gap right here, but that's not a huge deal. It's, you know, nobody will ever notice that unless I point it out to them. I've thought about getting an OEM red and black tank, but I'm still undecided on it. Oh yeah, I don't have the solo cow on right now. It did come with a solo cow, but I didn't put it on yet because I didn't have the, uh, any bolts. <laughs> so, right here, you can see, right here there's a little bit of a fitment issue, right? I hope you can see that. Right there, you can see that bolt right there on the OEM fairings, it fits nice and flush. These ones don't. But that's the tail, and if you have a uh, fender eliminator kit, you won't even have to worry about that. But you can see right here, about underneath the seat. Now I do have a Corbin, it's not stock. And if you push it down, it does sit flush, so maybe that's the reason. But other than that, it all perfect. Uh, they offer you heat shielding, but I uh, I didn't use theirs because I didn't like theirs. I bought my own. Um, they did offer a windshield too, nice tinted one. It looked really cool, but it was just such a bitch to get on. And I said, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna use the stock one until I have some money and get a nice, uh, you know, a, a good double bubble one." Now paint quality. I, before I installed this, I threw a layer of wax on it, yet the paint still scratched pretty easily. You had to be super careful with this paint. You gotta take really good care of it, wax it often, and just make sure, you know, just, it's not, I don't know, they didn't clear coat it enough, or I don't know what the problem was, but they just chip really easily. You see right here, there's a small chip. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that happened during installation. So the paint quality, I mean, it's good. I mean, it looks OEM, and from this far away, it looks perfect, and as long as you take good care of it, it'll remain good, but I can't really speak to it too much, because I've only had these on for two days. <laughs> Actually, one day. Just keep that in mind when buying it, that you gotta spend more time taking care of this fairings. The shipping, I did have a little issue with, I told you. The shipping, I believe, when they first arrived, they were damaged, like, the tank was damaged, the uh, back tail was damaged, and both side pieces were damaged. Luckily though, I was able to contact Octomarts, and with no questions asked, all they wanted was a picture of the box and the fairings, I, I sent it to them, and they, you know, it took another couple, two or three weeks, but they sent uh, replacements out, and that was good on them. 
All right, so, and their customer service, I'd have to give their customer service a really high rating. Um, they haven't gotten back to me yet with those uh, side pieces, but I, I'm sure they'll be good to me. I mean, they've been good to me so far. So I'd have to give their customer service a perfect score. I mean, they were really nice. They they were never a hassle or anything, unlike, you know, unlike someone I know, <laughs> Corbin. <laughs> uh, yeah, paint quality, I guess, would be, if I had to rate it right now, I guess I'd say the paint quality is a 7 out of 10. I mean, they just really should have clear-coated it better. Uh, quality control, I guess I could give that. That's kind of with, I don't know, quality control. I'm going to say that's a little different. Uh, quality control, because when they sent me this right here, it was covered in paint, and I had to drill it out myself, the little keyhole for the tail fairing, and also the fact that those weren't red right there, I'd have to give their quality control a uh, an 8 out of 10. I mean, I'm sure, I, I don't know, they really should have uh, taken another look at that, but is what it is you know it's still a good score overall they do make sure everything is you know there's no chips or anything before they send it the shipping i'd have to give it a a low score though the shipping you know that gets like a seven out of ten or a six out of ten i mean it was really fast shipping so i'll give them that but they just didn't pack it right like i i would rather wait another week for shipping and have them pack it right than you know have it arrive in three or four days and have it arrive damaged and then have to wait another three weeks so if Octomarts is uh, seeing this review, I want to say I'm going to give you guys a big two thumbs up. The uh, fitment, that surpassed my expectations. Uh, I'd have to give it a, a, an 8. I'd have to give it an 8, though, just because of this gas cap. Uh, it doesn't seal properly, and there's a little bit of more of a gap than I'd like right here. And, of course, the tail fairing, but other than that, like, I'm really happy with those, as long as the nose piece fit, and that's all I was really concerned with, but I'm really happy with how everything uh, put together. And I'm really happy with the whole experience as a whole. I mean, I only paid $450, and I got a bolt kit, I got a windshield, I got, you know, a tank pad, which I didn't install yet. I got all these fairings. I had good customer service. Uh, it's really, it's a no-brainer. I mean, OEM fairings cost five times the amount as these fairings do. And I don't think they're five times as good. I mean, they, may, they might be twice as good, or even three times, but not five times as good. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll answer them. See you later, guys.